Can a sudden power surge damage equipment? Dave in Butler, Kentucky is asking this question. Hey Paul, in a previous video you recommend to leave the amplifier on in standby mode. I do indeed. In the area where I live, it's common for the electricity to cut out then come back on, most of the time lasting only a few seconds. I've been told that the surges of electricity when it comes back on can damage electrical components. Years ago, I bought a small isobar noise suppressor and surge suppressor for my computer. Would it be wise to have one for stereo equipment? Do the regenerators provide such protection? Uh, possibly a future uh, product for, for me, maybe, or us, I don't know. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, sure. Um, sometimes when you have a power outage, when it comes back on, it comes on very high till everybody starts using the power again and then it lowers back down it's pretty rare especially if you're having these you know these outs and all of that um i we have i mean i live in colorado so i would say about every two days we have a quick power outage i, I have ups devices on my computer and all of that and i hear that you know that's the power went out ups kicked in but our stereo system isn't hooked up to one, never bothers it. So I, I think that kind of damage is pretty rare. That said, it isn't not there, okay? So yeah, there can be damaging surges, spikes, and, and when you have a power outage, it comes back on at a higher level. Uh, and, and maybe a thousand times it happens, it's just fine, but then the thousandth, <laughs> thousandths, and one time it happens, it kills your, your equipment and that gets expensive. So a surge protector is great. Yeah, our regenerators, our little deck tet, uh, power bar, all of those things have complete safety for any kind of surge that would harm your equipment. And I mean, you can buy cheap things over at Home Depot that will do that. I, I, I mean, I don't recommend it if you have a high-end stereo system because you don't want to hook up these cheesy power things up to your high-end stereo system because they will degrade the sound. Just just the, the silly line cords they have, the cheesy outlet, I mean, all of that. Just it, it, get something decent in there. Something, you know, that somebody who cared about sound quality actually built. I mean, you go to Home Depot. The guy who's, whoever's designing the, the, the power protecting surge thing, he, he doesn't know that you want to have anything other than a toaster plugged into this, right? And he doesn't care. Why should he? He shouldn't. I mean, what you want is cheap and effective. That's what you want for your toaster. That's what you want for your television. I mean, it's not going to make that much of a difference. But for your high-end audio system, ooh. Show some judgment on that. Use something that has been designed by people who understand sound and how to get the most out of it. And you don't have to spend a lot of money, but you do have to get it right for that occasional time when, rare as it is, that can happen. Boy, you sure don't want to get caught on that short end of that stick. So uh, if you want it from PS Audio and, and you don't want to get a regenerator, check out our deck tet. I think that thing is like 500 bucks or something. And, and it gives you, you get cleaner power and it's protected, fully protected. So, all right, thanks. Good luck out there. Maybe talk to the power country. What the hell's going on out here? All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.